Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen my face before, my name is Chelsea Nicole. I graduated from the Royal Academy of Music with a master's in musical theatre and now I'm here on YouTube sharing my tips and tricks with you that I learned while I was there. Before we head on into this video, I can see that there's, I think it's about 78% of you that don't subscribe to me and that to me is sacrilege. <laughs> So I can see you guys out there. I'm checking on my analytics, all right? Hit that subscribe button if you love musical theatre as much as I do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because then you'll never miss any of the videos that I post. Today, I might shock you. I have got something completely different to drink. My beverage of choice today is a green tea. I've already had a coffee today. I've been up since half past three. Um, yeah <laughs> and i want to pace myself with my coffee once i finish this video i'm then going to go and edit this video and edit another video and get that posted up today so i want to pace myself i'm going to have a huge coffee to keep me going so grab your beverage of choice and let's head on into the video first thing i'm going to talk about is something that i spoke about in my seven healthy habits video i think it was i'll link that down below um drink water Water is the single most important thing for your vocal folds and your health in general. So I wonder if you can guess down below in the comments how many of these I've already had today. Water is the most important thing for your vocal folds, but it takes four hours for water to actually hit the vocal folds. Say I had an audition on a Wednesday, I would generally start preparing for that audition on the Monday. I mean, I drink a lot of water anyway, but if I know that I've got an audition coming up and I know that there is a huge song that I'm about to sing, then I definitely start drinking even more water from that Monday. But the second thing I'd like to talk about, it's very, very important. And it's actually the quickest way to hydrate your vocal folds. And that is to use an inhaler or a steamer. Now I use the Dr. Nelson's inhaler. This is what the Royal Academy of Music advised us to get. So I bought this prior to starting the course. I bought this from the labwarehouse.com. I'll link it down below. You can also get this from johnbellcroydon.com. I'll also link that down below. Um, I think they range from about 31-ish pounds to the highest is 65. Now this is the smallest size. Uh, I think this is great. It's portable. I can take this around with me. I work in the city so if I have an audition and I have to like quickly get into, into the West End for my audition then I take this with me and I do this. <laughs> I actually do this in the office kitchen and people probably think I'm crazy. It hydrates the vocal folds instantly. In just a normal week I try to use this twice um basically what you do it comes in two parts you put boiling hot water inside but make sure it doesn't um go past here because if you breathe that in you'll end up breathing in the hot water um yeah you just pop that on top and then you put your lips to about here you breathe in through the mouth and out through the nose that's how i like to use it but i like to get it circulating around um this is tmi um but i'm quite phlegmy as it is so this is really, really helpful. It just gets rid of all that horrible, nasty stuff, um, especially before an audition. Once you've used this, try not to speak or shout or sing 10 minutes after using this, purely because you've warmed them up so much. Um, if you start shouting and everything, you might, you won't feel if you do anything to your vocal folds. Basically, your vocal folds are like this and they oscillate. They move like this and they have little hairs on them. Um, if you start shouting, then they'll start to rub. If you're not supporting your voice properly, they'll start to rub. And then what happens is, is you get like little sores and they're called nodules. And that's something you really don't want. Uh, the best way I can explain that is, you know, when you put a new pair of trainers on and the backs rub and you get blisters, that's exactly what happens if you don't support your voice properly. And if you start shouting and screaming straight after you've used your steamer. So another great instrument that you can use to warm up is a vocal tube. And you can get these on Amazon for, I think, about £20.99. Again, it's another thing. I'll link it down below for you. I haven't actually physically got one at the moment, but that's definitely something that I am looking to invest in. So basically what you do, this is what I do at the moment. You get your water, it's halfway full. You have your straw. Imagine it's like a really thick straw and you basically do scales and stuff while blowing into the water. me of like you know when you're a kid and you'd be sitting in a restaurant and you'd have your straw and you'd blow bubbles into your coke or whatever and your parents would tell you off because it just makes it flat and disgusting that's what it reminds me of 
So what's great about the vocal tube is it's low impact on the vocal folds. There's less strain and it's great, especially if you've got a sore throat or if you ha are having some vocal issues on that day. It's just a really lovely, calming, uh, low impact warm up that you can do. Another thing about the vocal tube is that it's great for speech therapy. So it's great for vocal habilitation, vocal therapy and vocal rehabilitation. So once I've steamed and or possibly done the vocal tubes, these are a couple of warm ups that I really enjoy. So the first one's called puppying and it is what it says on the tin. You basically have to sound like a puppy. So it sounds like this. <coughs> Just find um, a part of your voice that you feel really comfortable in. It shouldn't be strenuous. It shouldn't be too high. It shouldn't be too low. It should just feel really relaxed. And it's a great way to warm up, especially if you're running late. And if you learn how to do it on voice and off voice, you're then able to do it on the train as well. So in conjunction with doing your vocal tube on the train and puppying, you're going to have a really great but silent warm up. Other ones I like to do are scales, so me, 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 or ma, 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 or me, ma, me, ma, me, ma, me, ma, me. It really works the face and the vocals at the same time. I also love to do some lip trills, so Lastly, a couple of like um, tongue twisters or really to get the face moving is Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. I also love one, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, going up and down the scale. And I also love one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something as well, something new. If there are any warm ups that you like, just let me know down in the comments below. And today's little nugget of knowledge that I'd like to leave with you today is don't compare yourself to others. Make sure you aspire to do what other people do. When I was younger, going to my singing lessons, I would always look at the elder girls and think, oh, one day I'd love to be able to sing their songs. And instead of comparing myself, I aspired to be like them or aspired to be able to sing them songs. And that's what really carried me through. And that's what's got me to be the performer I am today. So yeah, don't compare, aspire. Now, like I said at the beginning, there are 78% of you that are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss the videos that I post. Like this video, comment in this video, do all them wonderful things and all that jazz, and I will see you in the next video.